are back again. It is the tag team to the country rap report. It's your boy Big XL. What up, what you do, Frank? Man, I wish I could do that and just come off like the top rope or something. Like, boom! Something cool like that. All right, man, y'all know what it is. Country Rap Report. What we do here is give you our opinions, our expertise, our reviews of some of the dopest and hottest and wackest country rap videos in the world. You got to say that, too. You can't. Some of the videos aren't dope. We're not saying everything is dope. Right. right some of them are whack. We've had a whack video or two. Yeah, we have. Yeah. And they've been deleted. Not by yeah. us. <laughs> You're right. Right. And so we're not here to tear any artists down. We're here just to give our expert opinions of what we see on these YouTube streets, just like what you see. Uh, we have over 30 years of experience in this game. So we each. feel like each. I, I just wanted to be combined for them. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all, old, bro. Let's just embrace it. Embrace it. Um, shout out to Pop Pop Fresh. I, don't, I was. I was. I was <laughs> Old. <laughs> no, I was in the chat and somebody <laughs> said, Papa, he called you old. Right. I don't know who called him old. Was it me? It was me. It was me. Okay, cool. Well, shout out to you anyway. I was just going to apologize, <laughs> but since it wasn't me, I'll let Spain handle his own business. Oh, that's I, funny. I don't remember what context it was in, but I just know Papa Fresh is the master of the robot. And okay. I got money on that. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. But again, we give you our opinion, our reviews, our expert industry expertise on these videos, what we think should be better, what we think is super dope um, when it comes to the production value, the song quality, the hook, the lyrics, and the video, you know, everything that embodies this, we're going to give you our opinion. Now, a lot of people might say, hey, man, I want to watch the video. Well, you can, just not during this broadcast. But right. every link to every video is underneath. You know why? Because we're not going to take the chance of any artist not liking the review is striking the channel just because we use your video. Exactly. No, 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 no. Because we know someone will do it on the simplest thing. Yep. They'll do it. So all, all videos, the links are underneath in the comments area, in the description area, and timestamp. That way, if you don't want to watch one, you want to watch other, you want to get straight to it, you want to get to yours, <clears throat> you go right there. Heather does an awesome job making it super convenient for you. But I would really appreciate everyone watch the entire episode. And if, if you watch a previous episode and you want to click on one of them links and you see that the video isn't there anymore, that's not on us. That, that's, that, that is on the people who uploaded the video. And it's, it's, to date, we have about four that have been removed after we went live and made a review and posted it to the website for those videos are gone today. But I don't, I don't think it's, well, one might be because of us. Definitely think, one might be because of us. I think two might be because of us. Okay. And um, two, we're not sure why. If, right. If we're talking about the same two. Yes. Yes. We're yes. not sure why. And one was really, really dope. And one was not a video, but it was covered and it was yes. too. Yeah, it was. So yeah. we're not sure why, and <clears throat> that's on them. It's not because of us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to get into it. Hold on, Vic. Slow your roll. Everybody out there, please, after the show, make sure you visit www.countryrapreport.com for all your country rap report needs. 24 hours of country rap music is right there because the link to WCRR Radio is there. You want to hear what we got on the Spotify playlist? And I really got to update the Spotify playlist, but it's right there. If you want to watch every video we've ever reviewed, other than those four that's been taken off, <laughs> it's right there. Matter of fact, if you go to season two, because I'm definitely on top of it this season, every video that we review is right there. And it says Country Rap Tunes season two. Okay. Matter of fact, if you want to be slick while you're watching this, you can go watch the next four videos that's going to be on the next episode and be to the point. Because I actually dropped the videos in the playlist when I create the list for us to do the show. Gotcha. Okay. So Y'all can be to the point and be like, shit, I'm going to see what they talking about. What they talking about. You got people like me first. So. Yeah, you're right. And I, and I do have an update. Um, we I started the beta testing um, right before I got COVID. And then while I was experiencing COVID, I was trying to figure out what that was going to look like for us for the um 
we were trying to do a channel on Roku. And for me to do that, I think it was like two fifty a month. Um, but the interface is so archaic that I tried to get the people to give me some some sort of update on what it would look like if we played with it ourselves. And plus, I didn't need more than one channel. And, and the whole thing that came with it was like 20 plus channels. And I'm not trying to create 19 more channels just so we can have one. Um, but I have stopped that. So that part of the beta testing, that failed. What I'm working on now is working with an app developer so we can get our own app and that app will push to Roku. Um, so y'all work with me on that, but we still have plans on getting on your television set. It's not sure how yet, but it's definitely in the works and I'm not going to stop until we get it done. You think we need the only fans? Um, do we need it? No, because all of our content is pretty much out there. We, we give it all right here. We don't have any behind the scenes content or anything like that. So, not nah, wouldn't work for us. I could create some only fan content. No, fam. No. Some no. gibbets. No. <laughs> Book of wolves. I got some <laughs> no. old. Con- I got some old content from the back room booty days. That no, we- no, we don't need none of that. We don't need none of that. I mean, we can get some legit OnlyFans content. I still have content, con, contacts for most of the people that I used to work with when I was in the adult ed- entertainment industry. Like, I, I can reach out to those people. They they got content, you know, but then we'd have to split revenue and all that other stuff, and I'm not trying to do all that. All right, man. Some of these people that the country rap fans might want a little OnlyFans. Well, uh, I think a couple of them got it. some OnlyFans. I know Kai Rogers had one. and What? Yeah, Kyle Rogers had one. What was on he? Like three or four. I don't know. I just I just saw him promoting it one day. I was like, I know this ain't what I think it is. He's like, yeah, it is. You don't want to go there. I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> oh, he told you you don't want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at it though. Like, hey, it's, it's, you, it's get your paper, fam. However you want to get it, get it. Now I know I know um one very famous uh podcaster uh-huh. who gets um he gets his talent. His channel on YouTube snatched down. He's got about 15 channels, and he's always jumping from channel to channel because YouTube's always chasing him for some of the stuff he say. Right. But um, he has an OnlyFans, and I think he do to do a little bit, but then I think also he does his live shows there. Actually, he broadcasts live there and then brings it back to YouTube. But okay. if, if YouTube snatches it down, you know, you can always check it out on OnlyFans. So I, don't well, know. I, know, about, I know about four or five rappers that got OnlyFans, too. Like they 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 making some money over there, and all of it is an adult entertainment stuff. Some of it there's just some of them doing um, live streams from gaming. Um, someone's doing uh, financial advice, and there it's like a subscription based fee that they char- he's charging to people. So it's 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 lucrative. Like if if it works for you, then do it. I'm getting into the NFTs and crypto, so eventually I'm gonna start implementing some of that over here with these country rap people, um, so they can make some money over there too. Um, yeah. Shout out to OnlyFans and everybody who's getting their money. You know, Safari got only OnlyFans. Who's Safari? Know. Safari. He used to be um Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, they 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 say he We know some folks know. with uh, some OnlyFans. Huh? Like one of them twins got a OnlyFans. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we done came a long way. We he grown, grown. And a grown way from the <laughs> Mohawks. <laughs> hey, man. Shout out to everybody. Oh, my God. Shout out to, you know what? Shout out to everybody who's trying to do it and be their own brand and their own boss. Absolutely. Whether it's OnlyFans, <laughs> Patreon, YouTube, whatever keeping you off the clock or keeping you off the clock so much. Hey, man. Salute to you. For real. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, I don't care if you was on the clock 60 hours a week, but you was able to generate some money off whatever platform, and now you're on the, on the clock 40 hours a week. Salute to you, because you're working towards financial independence. Right. Right, right. right. All right, Hold man. First video of the day. And my... My... This, to me, in my opinion, it's definitely rookie of the year, third quarter. Rookie of the year? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Third quarter, third quarter, third quarter. Okay. All right. 
First video of the year is Miss Jessica Boyle, a.k.a. Okay, okay. Jesse B. <clears throat> and the name of this joint is Hidden Valley. The first thing I say is, Jesse B., you are off the chain with the metaphors. Because I was wondering the entire time before I listened to why is this song called Hidden Valley? I actually. Oh, why is it Hidden Valley? I don't know why. Why is it? Are you playing? I'm serious. Why is it called Hidden Valley? I thought Hidden Valley was where she was from, bro. Uh huh. Hidden Valley. Because she dressed. Hidden Valley dressing, man. Oh, the dress. The Santa dress. What the fuck? Okay. That went way on my head. Oh, man. Because she dressed. Okay. 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 Jesse B got the metaphor. Um, the first thing I'm gonna say before I get too deep into it, you know, ladies, y'all, hey man, me and Spank always say we need to see more from the ladies, but this girl Jesse B hit the scene running third quarter. I'm sure she was putting in work before, but it seemed like she jumped in the country rap lane third quarter and got activated on y'all. Right. Um, to the point where I'm seeing other artists in the genre um doing duets with her on TikTok. Like she is definitely, definitely being embraced. She's a breath of fresh air for female in country rap. She's a breath of fresh air for country rap. She um, raps, sings, produces, and shoots her own videos. All right, this video, Hidden Valley. The first thing I got to say is, Jessie B, and I really like this about her, in this particular video, there are a lot of close-ups of her, which is going to number one. We always talk about artists or us not knowing what they look like or, right, or getting right. a glimpse of their personality and what's going on. Well, Jesse B does not miss the button that there are tons and tons and tons of close-ups of her in this video. All right. The thing I like most about Jesse B, like I said, is her flow. She is mastering that flow. She speeds it up, she slows it down, she adds in metaphors, it's real fun, it's braggadocious. It's everything you can want in a flow wrapped up into one. And she's a female. And okay. she's a female. Okay, okay, um, okay. This video it has mm -hmm. like a um like a wooded area scene, has like a burnt house scene, which I thought was real cool and unique. Um traditional country rap type stuff. Um the only the only thing for me, the only negative I had in this song, if there is a negative for me, is I thought it was a tad bit long. I thought that she kind of like if she had a compressed the hook and the beat a little bit. I made mm -hmm. the hook a little shorter because mm -hmm. it's, it's four minutes, 15 seconds. I feel like the song could have been a good three and a half, three even. And that's not a negative. It's just in 2022, I've gotten so accustomed to hearing these short songs. And there's a lot of on this video where you hear beat and you don't really hear anything but beat. And that's not so necessary in 2022. I don't have nothing negative to say. And the girl shot this joint on an iPhone 13. Well... I wouldn't give that a negative. I, I would give that a product of the times, you know, because because she is. Well, I've grown accustomed to seeing these short videos, right? And that, that's that's more of the industry doing than it would be for her or even the artists, you know. Because and and I'm just a side note. Um, this month, I created about a thousand tracks, and they were all two minutes and thirty seconds or less. I had already had about. 10,000 tracks that was four and a half minutes to five minutes. Had I created the two and a halves and they had been streaming this entire time that my five minutes wins was streaming, I would have doubled my money because I get paid the same amount for the four and a half to five than I, as I do for the two and a half to three. So here I am being old um, and old school and like, okay, a, a true song is two verses uh and two hooks or three hooks three hook verse hook verse hook you know but I, I i messed myself up you know but as a label for me thinking as a label i'm gonna get the same amount of money whether it's a fucking 15 minute song or a two minute song i'm still gonna get the same amount of money from the streaming people so why not just go ahead and create minimum amount as possible and let that thing go out there and stream and get paid so I, I understand the logic of it from, and that's just me just, just throwing out some music industry stuff. Logistically, I get it. 
Uh, I'm mad at myself that I got all of these songs I hear that are five minutes long that I, that should have been two and a half. Uh, and I, truth be told, I might go and pull some of them and replace them with two and a half minute songs, so just so I can have, you know, generate some more revenue. But I'm, I'm, I, I get it, I, and I, I think that feedback came from the feedback we gave her the first time, was I think the first one was just like a quickie in and out. Um, so she wanted to do a full song. So now she's like in the middle. We don't want to throw any mixed feelings or mixed signals, Jesse B. Like first we said one was too short. Now we're saying one is too long. Somewhere in the middle. Just be modern. Just stick with the what everybody else is doing as lengthwise. So you don't stand out for the wrong reasons. And that's 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 what we're saying. If I'm if I'm me paraphrasing what you said, Vic, I, I don't want to yeah. take the words from your mouth. Um, but I gave the song a 18. Um, she lost points, two points, uh, but she gained a point because this was shot on an iPhone. And because the phone, you shot a video on an iPhone, you, I think you deserve as much credit as possible because it's very difficult to do. Um, and you're not a uh, cinematographer uh, or trained cinematographer with an iPhone. But there's people that take courses out there for this stuff and you're not doing that. So I applaud that. But the, on the audio side, there was a the pluck in there. I don't know if it was, it was a guitar or a xylophone or something like that, but it's too loud. That's, that's on the production side of it. On the video side of it, and then you're probably going to kick yourself for this, but, and I know you probably thought like, hey, I'm going to put this on just because it looks, you know, the part. But that Caterpillar fleece, you know I hate people not wearing their own merch. And I know you just started your own merch. So this is something that you can correct going forward for all the other videos that you're going to shoot. Don't have other brands showing in your stuff unless you got paid to wear that video, that brand in your video. That Caterpillar didn't play, pay you for that. So don't give them any press because it's a lot of eyes on you right now. A lot of eyes on you right now. And a lot of ears are trying to pay attention to what you're saying. Don't give somebody eyes and ears without you gaining from it. Uh, and that, and not then. This is not just about brands that you're working with, but this is also people that you're working with too. Like, know who you're getting in bed with, and know what those pros and cons are when you're um, working with th these other people or other brands. Treat them brands. Treat those people like you treat brands on your body. Um, you are the canvas. Like, don't don't just give people all of that because you know it, it comes with a fee. You are um, of a certain stature right now that people are paying very, very close attention to what you're doing. So Caterpillar, Cohart, like none of that should be on you right now. You have your own merch. Put that on you and run that, run that every day. Um, how do you feel about Jesse B. Boss? I don't know yet. I know she can spit. She can rap. I just don't know if the bars are great. They're good. I want them to be great. I want them to be. I think she's funny. I think if you played on the humor a little bit more and put that in there, I think it would take you over the over the top, you know. But I I, I don't want you to be like, oh, I'm gonna hit them with this punchline, hit them with that punchline. No, hit them with an actual punchline. Make them laugh. Spur that emotion. If you get you you have to. The key to great musicians, they they make they take you to a certain place emotionally. Uh, whenever you, whenever they hear a certain song or that you're conveying a message, if you can do that, um, then you will be an excellent songwriter and you will be gaining fans because every time that they hear this, um, immediately they're going there mentally. Um, so your job is to, I, I want to hear her tell a story. Um, I want to hear her probably dig into more of her backstory for sure. Um, she does enough of the basic rap, like boasting. She does that very well. I just don't, I don't, I haven't seen where the bars are great, great, you know. But I, I think with practice and the more that she does it, she'll she'll get there. And see, I, I think I like her style because she flips a little bit. Right. And she has the metaphors and she's funny. I right. think if she stay in that trajectory, she'll go very, very far. But I would like to see a lot more than humor, too. Okay. I would like to see you. now. I and every time I see Jesse B, I just dream of a Shelby K Jesse B collab. I just I don't know why I want to hear a Jesse B a Jesse B Shelby K 
song. I don't know why. I just want to hear those two women together. Okay. I think it'll be dope. Shelby, where are you? Softball coach. Huh? Softball coach. Okay. Well, during the offseason. Yes. Maybe they can get together. Maybe, maybe. Jesse B make that happen. I see, and Shelby K definitely um is a fan because she clicks like on a lot of the posts. I see the Jesse B, you know, posts on, on IG. Well, I I and I've said this to Jesse personally. I would rather her stay solo and don't do any features yet. Um, none? None. None yet. I, w- I wouldn't do a feature until she dropped her first project. And then after she dropped her first project, the features will come. They will be begging you and paying you to be on tracks with them. So I, I wouldn't do any right now. But, I mean, if, if Shelby K went through her on the all-female tour, though, um, don't turn that down. No. I'm not mad at that either. No. But definitely shots out there. I think she has a big, big future. Uh, with the right guidance and production, she could she could surpass everybody else's here. Now, this is what I'm waiting on, though. This is what I'm waiting on. Okay. I know she does her own tracks. I'm waiting on her to get some outside production. Well, I, I've also sent some producers her way. I got some beats I can send her. You just reminded me. I will make myself a note. Send Jesse B beats. Because I I feel like if she doesn't have to concentrate on if she doesn't have to concentrate on making beats, shooting her own video, and concentrate on the lyrics, then she'll be defined even more as an artist. Yeah, she's doing too many. She's wearing too many hats right now. And you know, and I know <clears throat> she's doing the game. A lot of times when you're doing the game, you want it done right, you do it yourself. Right. So I ain't mad at her. All right, man, we're gonna keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. I gotta say shots out to my guy. Big Poe for this next video and um basically introducing us to this artist. He goes by the name of BDK, Billy the Kid, and the name. Hold on, rewind. Uh, sorry, I got I got I can't. I said I was gonna do it and I gotta do it. Shout Jesse B. Y'all make sure y'all follow Jesse B on Instagram at Jessica Boyles Official. Jessica Boyles Official. Okay. All right. Now next up. Is a gentleman who was brought to the platform by Mr. Big Poe. He goes by the name of Billy the Kid, aka BDK. And the name of this joint was Bucking at the Trail Ride. All right, if we've ever had the description in the title, now you have it. Bucking at the Trail Ride. Now, this video was shot by D. See visuals. All right. Let me say this. I have officially adopted Billy the Kid. You adopted it? Well, well not officially. <laughs> I, I can't claim on my text. But I'm going to say this. <laughs> if I was a rapper, I think Billy the Kid, or Billy the Kid is like my spirit animal. Okay. I think this is Big XL if Big XL was a rapper. Content, the fun having, the, the, the way he walk, right. his arms look like you might get knocked out. Um, Billy the Kid just looks like a good, Billy the Kid looks like somebody who gets in his car on Christmas morning and takes a goddamn gift to everybody in the family. Okay. He just looks like a good dude, man. He got his little rag. You know you ain't country if you ain't got your little rag. Um, this song also, and the song puts me in that right frame of mind. You know, it's got those little, it's some little eerie, like, I don't know if they're considered bells or horns. It's like a Friday 13th type of thing. Like a Halloween. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Billy Kid gets me. This is like my workout music. If I worked out, when I pretend I'm working out, I throw on some Billy Kid. Um, I like the video because he shows horses. Um, he shows the four wheels, the side by sides. Basically, this is a trail ride. If those who've never seen a trail ride know what a trail ride, this is. Um, and the energy is amazing. Lyrically, he's not jumping through no hoops. It's right in your face, but like I said, I like it. And it represents, if anything else, what a black country rap artist would be. Okay. Um, I, I, 
Did I say when I gave Jesse B? I want to make sure I did. I said 19, 18. What did I say? 18 for Jesse B. 18 plus one for the uh, iPhone. So she got 19. All right. I also gave Billy the Kid 18. Um, nine for the audio, nine for the video. I'm pretty much for the same. Well, <laughs> one was for the same reason. For the video, bruh, you 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 sporting the Air Jordan Nike shirt the entire video. You know, we, well, no, no, no. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think somebody in the video had on a one of his shirts. Didn't he? Or didn't it say something, Billy the Kid, or something? It was something. It's definitely it, there is definitely some company represented. Yes, in this video, because I seen about seven people with the same shirts on. Yes, yeah, I don't know if it was the family reunion. You pulled up, you shot the video. I don't know. I don't. You didn't say the old trees. <laughs> <laughs> what it was, it was repping somebody else's brand is, is very detrimental to you guys, especially over here. We know how much you live off of merch, you know. So wear your own stuff. Okay, audio side, it was a great message at the end of the video. Love that part. Um. And I'm going to be straight up. And I'm talking to you now, Billy the Kid. This nigga said nigga three times in this song. And you just said it once. <laughs> so now we got four niggas in the whole video. I just said it twice. <laughs> Come you on. You said this, said This nigga said nigga. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, right. We're in a different space. You know, with some of them words we can't say because we don't want folks repeating it. Now, I love the video because it's a whole bunch of country black folks in this video. I love that to the every piece of me because i did not know black folks one like to go mud and ride. two like to do the trail ride I, I knew we like to fish and i know we would go out and just throw that rod out there and just chill all day but this the mud and the trail riding this is and the horses and black folks I, like this is a mystery to me like hold on you didn't know black people ride horses i i knew because chose told me about it all the time because there's people in texas that ride horses but i was like mm, come on bro how much y'all really ride horses I'm like no y'all got farms and stuff like I'm, I'm this is me being naive because of the way that i was grew up i grew up in the ghetto i grew up in the hood you know so when you you grow up in the hood seeing black folks on, on horses it's like oh what's going on like are, are we okay but yes, this was this was it was awesome. I but I did not like you using the N-word three times. I counted them. And I did not like um I hated the bells and the keys. And as Vic was saying, it's got kind of got like a Halloween theme song to it. I hated those. I think those could have been something completely different. Change that instrumentation up, and then it would have been a definite, definite club banger. This is probably something that everybody at the trail trail ride is playing very, very loud as they are out there riding in the trail. This is a theme song. This could possibly be some sort of anthem, especially when you're getting together with your people. The song has a purpose. And the, the little message that you had at the end was great. If you could put that message in lyrics too, that would be that would be that would be dope too. But I, I'm a fan of his. Um, Billy the kid ain't no kid though. I'm like you probably all age, fam. Uh, but I, I'm gonna respect the name and respect your talent for, for who you are. I'm loving the imagery. Don't take that for, for no negative at all. Like everything that you showed on this camera, I was smiling ear to ear uh, that you depicted it and didn't did it with no regard. Like this, this is what it is and this is how I'm going to show it. And I respect that. That made me feel good. Let me tell you what I like about it. And when you say he looks like he's our age. And this is something we probably talked about within the first 10 episodes. Mm -hmm. Country rap has no life expectancy. You're right. It has right. no age. Um, it, it has no age limit. It's about you getting out, rapping what you feel. Now, right. whether Billy the Kid at some point in time was a um, hip hop artist or was he attempting to do music, I don't know. Or maybe he was just at the trail ride and decided, "Hey, man, I can do this thing." Whatever the case may be, I'm rocking with it. And now I do agree because I can't say it about Mr. Matthews and not say it here. Um, when when thinking country rap and thinking the traditional country rap fans, it's just kind of making me. Like, I hope they don't repeat his lyrics. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the funny thing is, hip hop is so big now. I feel like that in general. I feel like that in general. But it's just when I definitely in the country rap genre, if you know, if Billy Kidd is doing the show, chances are. 
other than the people he bring, probably 90% of his audience is going to be Caucasian. Right. And if they repeat his lyrics, you can kind of sit beside him like, uh, yeah. Uh, but you but you put them out there. So you these are your words. They just repeating your words. So if you don't want them coming out of somebody else's mouth, don't put them in a song. And you know, if someone does it to be funny, you really can't be mad. None at all. That's all and on the, you, fam. You and, open that and, door up. And if they and they look at you and say, I just say what you say. Right, right. These are your words, not mine. So, but I'm gonna say this: How we watch these videos and say, "Hey, man, y'all need to get a couple black people. Y'all can borrow them from Billy McGee." <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> he had plenty. How many people you thought was out there? He had been a couple thousand. Uh, that was that was the real hit, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> they had a good time out there, bro. Hey, man, and you know what? And and it was people of all races out there. Yeah, but yeah. but Billy again. And you know what? When I when I think of a country rap. I just think of people of all races partying and having a good time. Yeah, if it looked like this, I'm okay with it. I'm a, I, I want to do a trail ride though. That looks fun. That does look fun. But yeah. what you gonna take? What you you mean? got side by side? Oh, I ain't got none of that now. Uh, I thought you were one of them. I'm gonna get some mosquito repellent. That's what I don't think I'm gonna oh, take. Oh, you're going to watch. <laughs> no, I'll ride. If, I've never been on a four wheel, so I'll I'll get on one if somebody. Road? I've never ri- ridden a four wheel. I've ridden one of them little doom buggies, little dirt bikes. That scared the hell out of me. But that, that's it. But you know, what I mean? teach me how to ride one. I get out there with. Hey man, I'm definitely rocking with Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid has another song that he hasn't shot a video to that is so crunk that um called Go Live that it'll make you come out your seat. Like I love his energy, bro. Like okay. Billy the Kid, I don't want to call him the little John of of country rap because he raps. Right. But he definitely has energy for days and I want more artists and more people to embrace Billy the Kid because I think he's something new and fresh and different from what's going on in the genre and mm-hmm. I just like to see more people reach out to him and collab with other people that way he can get more shine I like and, he, and he looks authentic yes like he ain't like, playing no all of that looks real so I'm, I'm like I said I, I was very entertained made me smile Billy Kid like he coming to the camera like <laughs> Like your uncle Willie. Well, like, ah, he like he come like, no, y'all remember how to do that that day, bye. You remember how to do that that day, Man, shout out to Billy the Kid. I was there when I when I seen the title, bucking at the trail ride. I'm like, that's the first thing that went through my mind. What the? Right. But when I seen the video, I was very very happy. And he's the artist I look forward to talking more about as his. Um, Fan base grows and he makes a little music. Well, and hopefully he can make some more because if he does, then he's at the top of that rookie of the li- rookie of the year list. And Billy Kid got the grades. He he, oh, yeah. he, he ain't no kid now. He no. a grown ass kid. So look, everybody out there who watches this <laughs> show, especially my good fellas over at West Ten, Coca, uh, Grace, all the people, Bob, all y'all, man, please, please go bum rush. Billy the Kid's IG and follow him and tell him you heard about him on the Country Rap Report. And you can find him at the D-A underscore D-A. Okay. Underscore, underscore K underscore I underscore double underscore D. That's a lot. K I underscore No, no, no. K D-A K D-A underscore K underscore uh-huh. I Underscore uh-huh. double underscore double the word double D that ain't his name it's D-O-U-B-L-E. D again we'll start starting oh there you go right there <laughs> so, you got it yeah I got it Billy Butler I got you uh, yes Billy Butler is his name. <laughs> that's a lot yeah, Very well, well, listen, y'all D A underscore K underscore I underscore double underscore D. All right. That's very, very hard to remember. Man, y'all go give him a warm, a warm country rap report. Welcome. Tell me you heard about it on the show and you're following because of the show. Shouts out again. I got Big Po. Big Po hit me one day on the inbox. Like, you got to check this guy out. And. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. 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 Now, I want to ask you a question. Uh huh. Just reviewed your video. I want to ask you a question. Uh huh. And I know you're not gonna say not yet, but one at some point in time, 
we're gonna have to do an episode about regions. Regions of the what are you talking about? Okay, Louisiana. Uh huh. Broadneck. Um, oh man, come on, Big Pope. Um, Josh Garrett. Josh Garrett. Um, Billy the Kid. Okay, I didn't know he was in there too. Okay. Yep. But I'm sure that there are quite a few from Louisiana. The boot oh. ripping. Huh? The boots Great. ripping. And the boot seemed like they had the funniest videos. Yeah. So, hey, man, we might have to take a trip to the boot. I'm okay with that. It's been a minute since I've been out there. Yeah, the trail wide, the trail ride. All right, man, shout out to Billy the Kid. Uh, you got an 18. My man Spank gave you an 18. All right, next up, next up, the guy who has the most insane fans. Who definitely, definitely gonna keep him uplifted? It's <laughs> Mr. Burden, and the name of this joint is F. Biden Two. Can I go first on this? Yes, sir. I gave this video a nineteen point five. It was almost perfect, and the the perfectness came the the minuses came from. In this video, there's some slight overdubbing issues, and I don't know if it was if you didn't know the lyrics or. The cameraman cut too quick or whatever, but your lips were not moving when they were supposed to, but then they would catch back up, you know, and it, and it didn't do it just one time. It did it a couple other times. So I think that was more of a cameraman issue and an editing issue that could have been rectified with editing. Uh, even if you just blurred it out or actually did cut faster. And so the overdubbing issues wouldn't have shown. Other than that, this is a great song. Um, I actually like F. Biden too more than I like F. Biden, the original. Um, and I, this time I was expecting the beat to be hype, and it was. It was a dope beat. Uh, it was a great mix on this track, and it was a good use of the sample that was used in the, in the song. So this is this is, I'm, and I keep saying this about Burden, but I want I really need you to come with some content, content Burden. I, I know you can rap. Um, I want to hear more of that. Like I know we all on this train of uh, fuck Biden or whatever we gonna do. Like. We hear you, uh, and I'm okay with that. Um, but I also don't want you to get away from rap rapping, because you are known for rap rapping. Like get that, get bring that back, or implement that some, here and there uh, as you're throwing out these random videos. Um, or even if you want to do the patriot stuff, still rap in it, uh, and slow the tempo down because when you're doing this stuff, it kind of distracts from the lyricism, and we know that you have those lyrics to be competitive with some of the other ones that are out there so that that is my only um statement that i wanted to make towards towards him and his his skill set but this is this is a good effort i, I like it um, what i like most about this video man this thing was strategically shot majority well definitely the first verse and the first hook of him driving in this truck yes and that thing is steady like yeah. it ain't no camera shake and he is really driving <laughs> right <laughs> Um, I thought that was really, really dope. Whatever mechanism they used, it, it, that man didn't hit no bumps, nothing. Yeah, I thought that was clever. Um, the fact that you made a political song into a song that I was like, right? Hey. The second time we did that. The fact that you you turn a political song into a party cut, number one, lets me know that you know a lot about BPMs. Yeah. You know a little bit about Africa Bambada and the and some of the up-tempo BPMs, but then again, Burden is from Florida. Okay. I didn't know uh, that. Yeah, I think Burden is from Florida. I could be wrong, and you can get in the inbox, so I'm sure some of your fans will correct me, um, but I think he's from Florida. But again, the fact that you attack, you verbally assaulted this man, you brought lyrics and verbally assaulted this man, and verse two gave Kamala Harris the business and kept it fun. Like, I felt like I was in the club. I was looking for Kamala to twerk or something because <laughs> it was such a fun club beat. I was like, dang, man, I burn. Get so political on a song that make you smile. It's like, you going to make people like, yeah, I don't, I don't like Biden either. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just saying, I thought it was really, really dope. But you stayed on point, you stayed on task. I thought it was cool. And the one thing I noticed, Burden. Either he's buying smaller shirts or he's lifting weights because his arms is like that shirt is like he, I don't know. Burn like you've been in the gym. 
you might be scared by ain't gonna come get you, but because <laughs> he's definitely been on the weight bench, it appears. Okay, okay. Me. Um, I really, really like the record. I have nothing negative to say about it. Um, I even like on the second verse how they had the little like the little flag F Joe Biden room. I thought that was really, really cool, man. Great work, great work, great work. Um, again, I do want to hear some more substance, you know, and I'm sure a lot of people say, man, y'all should listen to this older stuff. Well, we just started the show last year. So right. the political stuff is cool, but let's talk. I want to hear some more of the other stuff going on in your life as well. Because I know right. you've had some issues that, you know, I've heard about, you know, and me knowing as a fan, but I want to hear some of that too. I love the political stuff. I ain't mad at it, but let's give us a little more balance and I'm definitely, definitely right. Agreed. All right. Agreed. All right, man. Last song <laughs> of the day is Make Ozone. The queen of country rap, Miss Savannah Dexter. And the name of this joint is Center Like Me. This video is directed by Full Scope. And I'm going to say this. This video is more singing. It's, it's mostly singing. All singing. It's all singing. Yeah, yeah. all singing. It's kind of sing rappy, but it's all singing. Right. If Gator and Savannah, and this video co-stars and features Bravo Gator. Mm -hmm. If Bravo Gator and Savannah Dexter don't remake Fire and Desire, I'm going to be mad as hell. No, we don't need that. We don't need that. Mm -mm. Why? That was a dope record, Fire and Desire. Yeah, but Rick James can sing, though. Well, if they could put some country twang onto it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't think so? Is that too much of a classic? It, it, yeah, some songs you can't touch. That's one of them. Man, I love Gator and Savannah Dexter's chemistry <clears throat> on stage. I like how in this song, how they go back and forth. I love the message in this song. And the funny thing is, when I watched this song, all it done made me think about my ex-girlfriend. I'm like, God damn. This is how I stressed out I used to feel if I was just sitting at the bar Talking to somebody now, Gator, I don't know if Gator will flirt or not, but I know I wouldn't be flirting. But a girl just be talking to me. Then I talk to her. But my ex would just be just storm out the club and cause a scene and everybody be looking at me. And I'm looking at them like, I ain't leaving shit left. But I like this video. I like the song. I like the message. And I'm team men. I don't think Bravo was creeping. Oh, he was. He was. Uh, he was. I'm team men. <laughs> and I don't think Bravo was creeping. No. The man. center. Mm -mm. And she mm -mm. knew what he was when she met him. You got to take the bad with the good. I'm with you, Bravo. That You just sitting there by that lady. I don't know why the hell that helper had her phone out. She got a lot to get his number that he gave her. What the hell? Man, because she probably said she seen. A rap. Right. And he told her he had a label. Oh, right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand mm -hmm. being misunderstood. First of all, this, this is when Louis Bass would show up. Like, what? <laughs> we are not going to do that today. No, I, um, you threw your review? Yeah, man. Okay. I gave this a perfect score. This, this is yes. perfect audio, perfect video. Um, but Bobby, you you can't sing, Bobby. Come on now, let's let's not let's not go there. You you just you just brought on a perfect singer that would have fit on this song immaculately. Bobby Galloway would have done a whole lot better with them vocals than um, Bravo Gator would have. But Bravo Gator did. Now I'm not tripping on the singing talent because you're great with that pen, but the contrast between your voice and Savannah's voice is. Like, how should I say this? One is like gargling marbles. What? And, and the other one is like silk and butter. Now, when you hear you, it's like, oh, he's trying. I, you know, I, I just got to give him the A forever. He's, he's doing a good job. But when you hear Savannah, Savannah saves you. Because her voice is perfect tonally. Like, when you, as soon as she starts singing, it's like, oh, my God, this is... It's almost heavenly. Um, 
and she brought, <laughs> she made your harshness, the, the marbles, um, not sound as harsh when she started singing. And then it just it pulled it back, way back to where it was more of a heartfelt song because it, it, it was it was it was this is and I'm not tripping on Bobby's voice. His voice is perfect for country. I don't want him to go that route, nor do I want her to go that route. But him doing this, I don't know if it's an experiment or whatever, but it just felt really country. And, you know, me and country don't get along. So I didn't I, immediately when I heard this, I'm like, I'm not I'm not I'm not. I don't want to feel this. But when Savannah came in, I was like, OK, I'm feeling it now, you know, because I'm used to her used to her singing and I actually like her singing voice. So she kind of made me actually like the song and listen to it more and respect him trying to sing. Um, and I also like that both of you was um, there was the, the camaraderie in the video, the 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 chemistry, yes. There, it was definitely some chemistry there. I'm still not seeing Savannah smile enough, though. I need her to smile more. You know, and that's, and that's probably a cliche, cliche shit that we're not supposed to say anymore to women. Like, well, smile more. Or why are, you, why are you not looking so happy? You know, and inside, they just want to say, you know, shut the hell up. I can do what I want. But I, I just want her to convey happiness more to the people instead of I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. And because it's written on your face that I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, but again, perfect song, immaculate song, um, perfect video. There was no issues in this video. And I was looking for all of them. Um, it, but it was a damn good job. I, I really, really appreciate this effort. Now, I don't. This record. Had Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani sang this. This would be a top 20 song. Or Rick James and Tina Marie. <laughs> they both did, bro. But yes, <laughs> this is a top 20 song. This is a top 20 country yes. song. Yes. Um, especially with the subject matter. Now, had somebody else singing and y'all were the actors on it? Or oh, actor and actresses? Actor and actress? Um, perfect. Like, I just, this is... Gators, Gators Penn ain't no joke, bro. Like, they... He is... Um, he's a rare find. I don't know if this was... I, w- I don't know if I would have put this record out. I probably would have shot this record to some bigger country people to put it out there and let them do whatever they want to do with it. But him doing this, but countries like that though, country will remake a song in the same month. Like something come out at the beginning of the month and then by the end of the month, four or five people done redid it and put it on their album. So this could be done in this genre as I'm saying this out loud. So none of this is a negative, but very, very good job team over there. Good job, Miko. All right, number one, I agree. Standards <clears throat> pin. It, it, he's borderline a pin god. Yeah. Like he's borderline a pin god. Um, the fact that he can pin these records that resonate with the country rap fans and the genre of country music is amazing, considering this guy came from the hip hop side of things yeah. for years. Oh, you know, okay, okay. You know, and then and the voice just hit me. I'm hearing his voice. Had Jelly Roll did this song? This is a top 20 song for real. Jelly and Savannah. We talking stratosphere because Jelly's already borderline with that country right now, anyway, especially with his experimentation of last year. Like he's he more eyes are on him right now. Had he done this, it, this this record would have been over with. All right, I'm gonna say this about the record. Um, I like it for Gator and Savannah, number one, with their history. Well, we like it because of we know the song has meaning, right? You know, right? Um, so I debunked your she should smile more because in this video, smiling is not necessary. She's dealing with some shit in this video. Yeah, so she right. gave yeah. us that face that we deserved in this video. Yeah. I, she, gave us, she gave us this motherfucker face. Yeah. yeah she got that a couple times. And it was, like, it was she that. got that walking out the bar like that. Yeah. <laughs> what, what you doing? She got that on point. Right, right. And Bravo got that chasing out there. But, but Bro, if y'all ain't been through that in y'all life at some point in time, I ain't saying together. But y'all both have played that role because that seems so natural. Right, right. Like, I ain't saying y'all doing it together. I'm saying that maybe it's time or two y'all been through those real life experiences. Or if not, y'all need some Video Academy Awards for that. Um, I think this song... It was good okay. acting. I didn't think about that. It was definitely good acting. 
I think now you mentioned Jelly, okay? Yes. I think this song deserves a little amount of sexy, and I don't think Jelly could give us that sexy. <laughs> I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. <laughs> I'm taking it that way. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. I'm saying I just, <laughs> I just, I mean, Gators, he's a handsome guy. Right. Beard. This know, is her clothes. actual boyfriend. So, yeah, it it it, it fits them. Yes. So, yes. when you say Gwen Schiaffani, Blake Shelton, yes. Because they're an actual couple. Yes. Yes. I, yeah, for whatever reason. This song would only be believable if it was done by two people who are together or supposed Agreed. to be together. Agree, agree, agree. And then it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Now, the timing of this record, because you say you don't know if you would put it out, I don't know if I would have let Savannah get on another stratosphere mm -hmm. before I'd done it, but it's okay. It's okay because people can come back and find it. You're right. Go back. But I think, bro, I now I definitely think this record is radio worthy absolutely it needs to be on country radio y'all shouldn't give a damn if they're country rappers or whatever the case may be this record deserves to be on country radio you think this is the gator's way of getting there i hope so and i hope they pay attention i, I, do I too. hope they pay attention because i think i mean the pen is golden on this <clears> one. <throat> video is perfect on this one i'm almost willing to say they need to take the hip-hop approach and not put out another damn thing until they get all the mileage off of this record. Because you know, hip hop, you beat that, you beat that horse till it can't breed no more. Well, that's if you would, it, so you wouldn't cannibalize the last record, but he can run this one in country radio and still do the country rap stuff yes. simultaneously. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, get I get that. Like this one, this <clears throat> one that the, the fans who don't like Savannah Dexter, the rapper, need to hear and will gain respect for her as a singer and him as a pen. Like, Agreed. I Agreed. just, you know, whatever. Whatever bank account he needs to tap into, whatever PPP loan, whatever resources he needs to get. OnlyFans. Go start the OnlyFans. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> you know if Gator and Savannah had an OnlyFans, people would pay for that. <laughs> You're right. They probably would. World, world's greatest couple? Hashtag? Hashtag. Pay for that. Yeah, I, <laughs> I would probably go, I would probably pay for that. I'm not going to pay for that. I ain't never been on it, but I'm just saying. Like the world loves Savannah and Gator. Yes. And this was a good look, great video. Uh, was this your first 20? No, it was my first in this episode, but it wasn't my first one. Okay. Well, they deserved it. Great video. Yeah, yeah, Mako, yeah. That Mako is definitely doing that thing. And they say at the beginning of the year they're gonna keep their foot on your necks, and their foot's are definitely on necks. This is definitely my first video of the year okay. contestant. Really? It's going to take a lot to knock somebody. Yeah. Your it's first? Take a lot. This is my first for the video of the year. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Great shit. Great shit. All right, man. Before we get it going, you know what we got to do? It is time for the project. Shout out. And it is brought to you by the good people over at Asset Distribution. Right? Yes, that is correct. That's how I got Billy Brown. We see you. I don't know if y'all know what asset distribution is, but it's an independent distributor. And he's dabbling in some country rap. So if you guys need distribution for your music, you need to be talking to him first. The analytics are there. He's fair. Uh, and it's a human being that you get to talk to like almost instantly with, via text or email. It's not like any of these like TuneCore dist distro kit where you got to email somebody, put in a ticket takes 12 to 24 hours for somebody to even reply. And then the reply you get back be some generic ass copy and paste reply. And then you got to be like, no, dumbass. That's not what I was talking about. I need you to answer this question. So it's taking four days for you to get an answer when you get a direct answer from somebody over there immediately. Um, so I, I definitely recommend asset distribution um, if you guys are looking for distribution. If you have a distributor, leave them. I guarantee you he can beat their rate. Bye-bye. Yeah. And this is also the home of SMG Jimmy. Okay. Dope. Home, of the, home of SMG. So for people who say, well, have they ever done country rap? Home of SMG Jimmy, who actually has a song dropping with Jelly Roll, probably by the time we drop this episode. Okay. Which and I, I, I recommend everybody that I talk to, I talk to, that needs distribution, um, I tell them, like, there's a new one you want to reach out to. Talk to him and see what he, I know he can beat Distro Kid and um, 
tune cores rates and the analytics are better, you know, and it's like I said, the customer service is, is right there. So reach out to him first before you make your decision about going in any of these other ones. World Star, um, Ditto, like none of, none of them can beat what he offers, which is immediate and constant customer service, which is we kind of need that in today's business. All right. Project shout out of the episode is a very, very short project, but it's by a guy, Mr. Camo Bryan. And this was his EP called Already Famous. All right. Now, this is one of the shortest EPs I've ever seen, but I enjoyed it. It was only three songs, three songs, only eight minutes and 56 seconds. He had the song Already Famous, Country Anthem, and Ever Been. Camo Bryan's a very, very talented artist. He raps and sings and does his thing. All right. This project. Is not an EP. Hmm? That is a maxi single. Well, I don't think anyone uses that term anymore. <laughs> that, I don't that, think there's a I don't think there's a category <laughs> on any of those sites to say magic single. Oh my goodness. Three songs, bro. You could have just waited. Two more songs, you would have had a real EP. But this song was released June 4th, 2021. Of a lot of our project shout-outs are definitely gonna be 2021 releases because right. This first quarter, people ain't dropping. But it was brought to you by the good people over at Average Joe, okay? When you check it out, make sure y'all get in in all the social media platforms of Camel Brown and say, hey, I heard you as a project shout out. Camel Brown, this is you. This shot's for you. Heather wants me to get a shot. I'll so shot some water. Shot too? I'll shot some water. I ain't gonna shot no liquor. Well, see, you ain't even had to say that. And then you just be doing the water, and they think it's cool. We both just drank it. But see, now you done told them. Now you're going to make them question my shot. No, they know you drank uh, spigot water, bro. <laughs> they already know. Shout out to Camel Brian. I look forward to talking to Camel Brian this year. Um, Hopefully he got a lot of stuff coming. Because he did release two singles after he released that EP. But, you know, we just started doing the project shout out. So I'm going to have to go back and get a bunch of the old stuff we talked about. I was watching his um one of his videos on Instagram pulled up and that, that dude country as hell, bro. Yes. I thought it was a uh I thought it was a voice that he was just making for his singing and rapping. No, nah, bro. He talked like that for real. That's he country. Man, before we get out of here, because I always I say I'm gonna do it and then I don't do it. I do the first two Instagrams, then forget everybody else's. All right, burden re- review, you know what. I'm going to recap and then give it to you. Okay. I'm going to do the Instagrams and the recaps. That way I'll okay. forget. All right. First video of the game, of the game, of the day was I'll be sad because I'm Jesse. Jesse B with Hidden Valley. Y'all make sure y'all I missed talk. that. How did I miss that? Oh, my God. I, was, I, was, I should be ashamed. I cannot call myself a lyricist and miss yeah, that. You, you know why you should really, really be ashamed? Because it's what? like the first 10 words out of her mouth. I, I know, but I... I'd be silent. Jesse, oh, I'd be just, 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 I'd be just, I'm like, yeah, girl. All right, Jesse B, Hidden Valley, you can follow her at Jesse Ball Official. Then we have Billy the Kid with Bucking the Trail Ride. I'd be bucking up. And Billy the Kid, I don't even know if I want to try to give you. Yeah, we did that one already. We did that one already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DA, yeah, y'all, inboxes. Get in the commentary and we'll put it in there. All right, then we have Burden, F Biden 2. Follow him at Burden World. And we had Savannah Dexter and Bravo Gator with Sitter Like Me. Savannah Dexter Music, Bravo Gator, and um, Project Shout Out, Mr. Camo Brian. And that's at Camo Brian. All right. Hi, good people. So look, as we're recording this show, as we're recording the show, and, you know, today is St. Valentine's Day. St. Valentine's Day, okay? For all those who don't know, hopefully you took care of your boot thing. Be it male or female. Hopefully you looked out for your boot thing. All you of them. Know? All of them. Not, yes. not just the main one. All of them. Yes. Look, the red hearts, those are for the main. That's, that's protocol. The pink, the pink hearts, those are for, they're not so many. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I always say it. My stress ball, my stress ball just bust. The red heart, look, 
when I'm at when I'm at the job, when I'm at party city, y'all know I work at party city. When I'm at party city and a guy comes in and buy a bunch of pink hearts, I'd be like, that's for the other, that's for your other shout out. <laughs> Man, you be tripping. But they never say no. Okay, but anyway, today is St. Valentine's Day. When you watch this, Valentine's Day will be over. But fellas, fellas, y'all come up real close and listen. I want to put y'all up on something if you don't already know. Because I know y'all don't spend all your little coins. And I know you lady done put on that little sexy, sexy thing. She's going to put it on night. It's a little smaller than it was when you bought it 10 years ago. But it's okay. <laughs> no, we all grow. When we've been together, we grow. You mean telling me you the same size you are you met your wife? Because I'm not. I'm not. Them sexy undies she bought me. The, the string is coming out on the side. <laughs> because I grew a little bit. When you fall in love oh, and you God. get comfortable and you get a little chunky. If y'all mm-hmm. just watch the Super Bowl, you see 50 Cent. 50 Cent has a girlfriend. Have y'all ever seen 50 Cent look so chunky? No. <laughs> love brings on chunkiness. Don't be mad at me. Okay. <clears throat> no need to go to the gym when you're in love. Until the doctor tell you to. I'm trying to put y'all up on something. Stop that. All right, ladies, fellas. Y'all done spent all your little coins, worked all your little overtime, hit up K's and, and Friedman's and, and Zales and Give me a rag. Y'all done put on, y'all done bought all that shit. Bought all that stuff for these ladies. Balloons, right. teddy bears, y'all done hit up cheesecake factory, long horn, all this stuff for your lady. And I need you to look at your lady and say, listen. Listen, Linda. Listen. <laughs> March give me a rack, 14th a Monday March 14th Monday <laughs> oh my God. Monday March 14th ladies get you a highlighter a yellow highlighter a pink highlighter <laughs> a, 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 a sharpie fellas circle the day and you tell your lady Monday March 14th is steak and BJ Day. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> if you don't believe me and you think I just made this up, Google it. <laughs> Would you like for me to? You know, we always got to give y'all a little tidbit. Okay. Let me let me let y'all know what it is since y'all might think I'm bull driving and I'm not. Wikipedia. You know, if it's on Wikipedia, it's somewhat official. Somewhat. Steak and blowjob day. Oh my god! <laughs> Some, sometimes known as steak and BJ day, or steak, mm-hmm. steak and knobber day. Knobber? Oh my god! It's a. They got unofficial holiday, but we trying to push and make it official. No, we're not. No, we're not. It's an unofficial holiday. I'm not signing in, that petition. Created in the United States as a male response to Valentine's Day and celebrated a month later on March 14th. On the day, women are <clears throat> supposed to cook a filet steak and perform fellatio <laughs> on a man or woman in response to cards, chocolate, Flowers given by men on Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day just a uh, uh, a down payment. <laughs> you gotta bring that, ladies. You gotta bring that receipt in a month. <laughs> you gotta show up with that receipt. Okay, I'm just, fellas, I'm just trying. I'm trying to put you up on game, man. I know. I listen. I bought a lot of shit. <laughs> I, let me, I'm, oh my god. Oh, I'm sweating. I did not know Skechers sold tennis shoes that cost $175. Damn, I didn't know that. Right. My wife found them because she wanted them for comfort. $175. You think she ain't got to get in that kitchen? (laughs) (laughs) She, do you realize I'm still paying on Christmas shit? 
I want my steak extra crispy. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can guarantee we're going to get a yellow one on this one. <laughs> and my nava extra juicy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Fellas, ladies, treat your man right. Do your man right, Steak and BJ Day. Y'all ain't got to tell me. Y'all can thank me later. Okay? Okay. <laughs> And not just fellas, ladies who got ladies. The one who didn't get the chocolates. <laughs> Do it that way. Do if you didn't get the balloons and the chocolate and the flowers, you know who you're supposed to get in a month. Get right. That's all. Big X said, get right. We've been celebrating around here. She is. That's why I got my green on. It's close to St. Patrick's Day. I'm like a little leopard. <laughs> <laughs> I get lucky on steak and BJ. All right, man. CountryRoundReport.com. Y'all, please go oh. to the site. Want to press for a million followers over on YouTube? So we can do this free concert. Are we at um 30? I don't remember. I, I'll give it a number next time we have a show. <clears throat> We're good. Okay. I might get a shirt made. My wife would be mad as hell. You know what she say? What? We telling our business on the internet. <laughs> she ain't gonna watch this episode. You, you, you don't think so? My wife don't like when I talk like this. Okay, I got you. Not, not in public, cause she always you. she feels like that when I talk this way, people are going to look at her. I'll be like, duh. Anything I say, it, it don't matter, bro. Wives do that. My wife do the same thing. I don't even bother. I'm saying, but we, if I talk about a steak, right? Who else gonna cook it? <clears throat> but her, right? So I should let these good people think I ain't, they they know I eat. Who see me and say he don't eat good? Nobody. <laughs> and if Steve want to come up to me like you be look. I'm going to say this. Um, <laughs> this is one of the most embarrassing things that ever happened to me. Right. I was at the fair. It was at the fair, me and the wife. And I ran into an old co-worker. Right. And she's like, hey. And I'm thinking like, you know, when people do that, our first response is generally, right? You don't, you don't you just, right. Like, I got something yeah, like, like, some, like, yeah, what's up? She's like, I ain't seen you in a while. I'm like, how, how you been doing? She like, I'm like, man, yeah, you know, I got married. She said, you been eating good, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's that slick way of saying, boy, you getting fat, ain't you? <laughs> I said, you know, I got married. It's like she didn't even hear that. She said, you been eating good, I see. I curse out in every language I know as I am <laughs> like, I'm thinking about saying, you don't say that out loud, do you? Is that, is that cool to say? It's a slick comment, yeah. We 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 are bad about it. Yeah. I I I've heard it a couple times. And then it, it, I really hold up, you just called me fat, you know. Oh, somebody yeah. said it to you before? Yeah, and I said exactly what I just said. Hold up, you just called me fat. What the fuck? Just say I'm fat. Would never, never, never. Kind of like somebody saying, "Hey, boy, you done aged." <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with that? Like, you can't insult people, man. You can't insult people. So back going back, how we started? Then about call Papa Fresh O. I did. I did call him. <laughs> yeah, I did. But it was jokingly because it was. I was talking about um, Marcotic had an old eclectic style, and he should work with Paul Paul Fresh because he's just old. <laughs> but it was it was jokingly. It wasn't me calling him old old. And, and I, hopefully he didn't take it that way. I know he didn't take it that way. He know I I, I wouldn't come to him like that. If he inbox you and challenge you <laughs> to a robot cat challenge, a karate chop contest. Unless I heard the term karate chop you. 
All right, man, let's get up out of here. God, please visit countrywarereport.com. First and last time, viewers, we love you guys. Love you guys. Quest to a million. Quest to a million. All right, you got anything to add, man? I do not. All right, ladies and boys, girls, it's your boy, Big XL. It's your dude, Spank. All right, Spank and Steak. I said Spank and BJ. <laughs> <laughs> Steak and BJ Day, March 14th. Mark your calendars. All right? Peace. Peace. Peace.